Natalia had reached Mount Desert. Hmm. Isn't that the thing where I sacrificed those three titans that time? It looks so different. Um, yes, but that was on the other side of the mountain. This has absolutely nothing to do with that. Besides, when did this game ever give a damn about any logical context? My goodness, the team that created this add-on was probably made up of drunken bums collected from a park late at night and stuffed into an office. Fine, 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 I get it. So we look for this artifact, unlock the way to God's Mount, and smack the goddess right in the god. <laughs> or we could use it for non-aggression platform. This seems to be a nice quiet part of the world where we could... Suddenly, completely independent of the fact that the neutral Talia was getting on our nerves, the formerly dormant volcano erupted. Not much fun for the people <coughs> seeing now. Whoops! Whew, okay. Maybe it's not the best place to settle down. It's all that narrator dork squad. Now he's actively working against me, the wretched little traitor. Aside from that, shut up, neutral Talia. Narrator dork? By sheer coincidence, Goddess's heroes had also found their way here and were spreading into the country. Nothing to do with the fact that the narrator was on edge because he hadn't taken his medication, but because that's just how he decided it was going to be. Okay, deep. Great! Just great! Can someone give the narrator back his Ritalin? <sighs> okay. Heroes in the dungeon. Knock them down! Kill them! Give them some dull trade magazines to read! They'll fall asleep and we can rough them up more easily! Jeez. Eric is losing his cool. Hello everyone, Dusk102 here and welcome back to Dungeons 3. It seems we're finally where? Oh. The fight hadn't started yet exactly. And he's dead, that's great. Everybody loves a dead demon. What else is dying? Why did I have three imps? Who needs that many imps? Evil is unstoppable! Seems unrealistic for me to have that many imps. Oh, good one. Where are you taking him? Oh, that's right. I know where he's taking him. We have a graveyard. And there it is. Not sure how I'm gonna help those de those demons. I could take that mana up. I didn't even want that imp. You're gonna be there a while, aren't you, Talia? Floods so your dungeon with arcane tears? Oh. Gotta get rid of that as soon as possible. Defend the dungeon hall. What? Who's attacking it? It's an arcane tear. But where is the arcane tear? Oh. The one place. It's fine now, it's gone. You're fine. Come on. Deal with that thing. I can use that mana. I don't need two of you. Or three of you. Goodbye. Why not? Oh. 
Well, I don't need the Banshees right now, but they are free warriors right now. So I guess I'll keep them. Oh, I can already tell this episode is going to be a difficult... Is it going to be two hours long, too? I'm going to have to separate them into two individual episodes. What did the absolute ev evil ever do to you? It's payday. It's town. Heroes of the goddess set out for the dungeon. Hey? What? Why? Where the hell did they come from? That doesn't make any sense. Of course, it was logical that the goddess would be on the trail of Talia and the toad-faced evil's army. As a goddess, she had to be omniscient, or at least so the narrator tells who no longer felt personally offended by any of the insults mentioned at the beginning. Then shut up about it! Jeez, I had no idea this guy was so needy. Oh good, it's them again. Well, let's throw everything. Oh, boo-hoo. While you're doing that, let's upgrade this and get more workers. Do thy bidding. Good workers. Hopefully, no one has arachnophobia. A spider man has been discovered. It better have a gold vein. It does not have a gold vein. Ugh. Good. It really doesn't have a gold vein. That bite. Getting a lot of gold though. <laughs> Just hurry faster, please. End of that road. That was all for nothing. What? Oh, come on. come on! I'll deal with this first. Why do these guys have to suck? Okay, good enough. Everybody, defend the Dungeon Heart with your lives, which I own. Oh, another gold vein. That will be handy. Done already? I should wait until night time before I start attacking. I should probably weed out any further. I can't get a moment of peace! I should weed out any more spider nests before they 
Come out to get me. Cause boy does this game like doing that. I should make a way through here too. How limited is the space I have? There's a lot of solid rock. that narrator is going to give me. Work, little bees, work. It's payday. Fantastic. There. The creature works faster. I don't need that right now. <sighs> Hopefully no one has arachnophobia. A spider nest has been discovered. And not a single freaking Ugh. Fine. This sucks. Oh, that's nice. I can use that then. Oh, it's night time now. Jeez, am I gonna have the army to even go out? I'm gonna have to wait for my undead to heal. undead doing terribly great <sighs> the problem now is that I have to weed out all the spider nests and everything because if I don't they'll just go everywhere I'm done waiting. Oh, 
This power tap down here. I'm even more powerful. Sounds great. Let's go here. Mm, the crystals are a nice touch. Oh, those aren't crystals. What are those? Heroes are building an underground base in your dungeon. Seriously, I just got out here. Okay, everyone, we're immediately going back. Because this game is a pain. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. What is that? A spring gun? Shield generator. Here I camp against spells. Ow. Oh great, the arcane terror thing. Just my luck, everything is wrong today. I go outside, they build up a base right here. Stay down. Good job, Evelyn. Good banshee. Someone please get that arcane tear, like as soon as possible. Thanks. Most appreciated. Okay, now where's my horde? My horde is here. Actually, let's add six. That way I can have two of these things going. It's payday. Make really just wait. Tell me what to do. Just tell ya, don't take them all on your own. Well, I guess my healer's on strike. I guess I should make an Arcanium because I already have demons. enough gold veins that we can make our way through this entire shenanigan for a good long while without needing infinite gold. So many shenanigans. Eight. 
Jeez. Take a hint, guys. You're not getting through the defenses. Oops. I should probably start making a prison. Let's take a look at the crates. No one's making crates. Two boxes. Now, where am I going to put a prison? Oh, for God's sakes. Perfect. Payday. Eh, who cares about payday? Well, everything seems to be going well so far. Night time again. Alright, let's take a look. I can deal with them easily. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be difficult. I should really boost my guys up before I try anything like that. I 
I almost have my team ready. Perfect. That team is back. This looks like it should be much, much, much bigger. I don't know why they decided to make it so small. to put what next. I got the team I want. I should get the arena unlocked soon. <laughs> Make the characters as powerful as I want. I won't have to worry about, you know, them dying as much. Since we have nothing better to do, let's fill in these empty holes. As well, yeah, this part. Building an underground base in your dungeon. What the heck? <laughs> Since when have they been allowed to do that? Looks a lot more epic than it should be. I can't even see what they're attacking. Not you. Oh, the slowly destroys your mana? It is! That's not good! Destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it, destroy it! Good work. Good hustle, everyone. Yeesh. He's eating my mana. Fill in that. Fill in. No spiders living in here anymore. Dungeon's looking a lot more tidy now. Payday. Okay, daytime. Can you guys die faster? There, 
Thank you. Not to be rude, but I need the evil. And I do like the bonus to the skeletons. Lead me to the battle! Nice place to put my traps. Uh, there's only so much space I have for you guys. Okay, you guys have to die quickly to make room for more. Just hurry this all up. Waste away. Good. Still need a lot more though. The heroes want to attack one of your islands of evilness. Don't do that, you jerks. Well, what can I do to stop it right now? It's the middle of the day. Give me my orders. Why are you just standing there? <laughs> Work faster. And you guys, die quicker. A lot quicker. About to lose an island evilness, but I'm gonna get it back when morning strikes or an night strikes. Is being I know it's being attacked. Enjoy that little victory while you can. You have lost an island of evilness. Jeez, these orcs are terrible tanks right now.
Hmm. I bet that would look cool. There are enemies in your dungeon. Do they have to be in my dungeon? Destroy the good. Well, actually, this is good. Maybe they'll give me the evil I need. And it's almost nighttime. Good work, soldiers. Now the undead have nothing to do. Why not? <laughs> Into battle. Who do you want to kill? So many people. Well, let's start with these ones. What are these? Some sort of crimson flowers? Good work. Let's get the arena working. At least until you guys like level 6. Because I really don't like the way that thing looks. It's probably an annoying cannon. Jeez, how long is this gonna take? Can you guys waste away? Almost there. Boom. Oh look, more gold. I wonder how this is gonna look. Or faster. Faster, 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 faster. You work faster too. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Oh, sleep in school like everyone else. Get to work. Get stronger. One of my heroes is only level one. And you guys are still level one. Oh, nope, you're level two. Level two. Just as soon as I said it. Next I'm going to make a little spa for the demons. I got nothing interesting to say about this. So? Well, what am I gonna do? Well, I guess I can talk about my own personal life. I mean, I've been able to start this YouTubing thing ever since I got a job. Great, just right in the middle of my conversation. That's, that's nice. Anyway, ever since I got a real job... Ooh, that's not good. But, before I got a real job, I was doing under the table jobs, like, um, babysitting. Oh, man. Babysitting was hard. It was very difficult, because including my youngest sister, I was looking after four children. And, um, an interesting thing is that whenever those kids came, 
over. They had some serious competition issues, sibling rivalry, because they always had to fight for toys. So what they always ended up doing was they all took the toys they could get a hold of and then piled them together into their own little piles in corners of the living room that they had to be in. And the center of the living room was like the no man's land. And the little girl that I had to look after, after besides my sister, well... Let's call her Samantha. She used to complain with things like, Hey, she's got more toys than me! And I, with my infinite wisdom, would say, You're not playing with the toys you have now! And she wasn't. They, they, they were just all piled up. They weren't even playing with the toys that they were huddling up together. It made me wonder why they even wanted the toys so badly. And then the youngest kid... <laughs> he's like two years old, so you can't really get mad at him for doing anything. Well, sometimes he tries to steal... Hey. Oh, fine. Fine. He tries to steal some of the toys sometimes and just runs off with it. Well, when he did that, Samantha just freaks right out. He took that toy from me! Crying and bawling and... And all I could say was, you weren't playing with it. It was just sitting there while you were complaining about how many toys my sisters had. I mean, Hey, what was I supposed to do? What? Oh. Destroy the good. You're trying to steal my gold? <laughs> you you kinda missed it. By a lot. Um, I'd rather that, to be honest. Give my undead some work. But they so need. And the oldest one, uh, what are we going to call him? Let's just call him Jack. He, um, I have a feeling that he liked to get in trouble. Now, I say this because one time I was making it clear to everyone, no running around. Because the living room is not a big space and the kids don't even like to behave in the living room so we can't really trust them to, you know, be out of the living room. So he goes, okay, and all the other kids go, okay. I turn around the corner to start making their lunches and I hear him yell just as I leave. Who wants to chase me at the top of his lungs? And I didn't do anything there immediately because my first thought was, oh jeez. He knows I can hear him, right? Where are you taking me? And I had to go back to deal with that.
You have things to build, don't decorate. It was just crazy. Oh, yes, please. More. Yeah, there's more. What? Oh. Go take a nap. So, of course, once I could do something, I disciplined him, of course. That's only natural. Yeah, you'll get a sleeping spot soon. There's a graveyard right here. They'll make one. But I couldn't for a little bit because of that. And another interesting thing that... Okay. My uh, sister alone... Well... <laughs> she, uh, I'm pretty sure she likes to complain quite a bit because... That's kind of what she does. I don't think it's real complaining, I think it's more playful complaining. She likes to play my games, and one time I even got a game for her, and I might even play it sometime here. But until then, I'm not. So she thought I was recording a video. She goes, Brother, can I play a game now? And I'm like, sure, I wish you'd told me sooner, sweetie, because I'm getting ready for work now. Then she gets all angry. Why didn't you tell me that you weren't recording a video today? I thought you were. So then I told her, sweetie, I told you that yesterday was my last video for the week that I was editing. And she goes, oh, but you still didn't tell me. She just tried to win somehow. <laughs> Ugh. Why was it fun watching her? Most of the time she likes to be alone now. Most of the time. Gotten a little bit easier. Oh, I wonder what she's gonna say if she ever sees this video. She's gonna get all angry at me. I've got nothing in there right now, do I? Well, how's the army shaping up? Terribly. Well, the goblins are doing pretty good. That's about the nicest thing I can say. Those aren't the only babysitting stories I have. There's a law with the there's a rule with the TV. You get to choose a TV show or a movie. We watch it for about maybe an hour. Then it's someone else's turn to pick a, to pick. Well, the oldest kid, what was I calling it again? Jack, I think. It was his it was gonna be his turn, but 
Then it was snack time. Everyone was eating ice cream. They're all happy about that. My sister was the first one to finish, so I said, "All right, go ahead and pick a movie or something to watch." And he gets upset, going, "But wait, it's my turn!" I'm like, "You're not even going to be able to see it if you choose one, because you're still eating." So then he tries to shove the entire cone in his mouth and goes, "Oh!" <laughs> and I just told him to just eat the cone. I don't know why those kids are so competitive. You're dead. Why are you still here? Oh, a church! Where am I gonna put a church? Guys, don't hurt him. <laughs> oh, you guys were in the middle of making a base, and he just walked in. Thanks for telling me, narrator. Great help. Not my fault she was insulting you. Why do I have to suffer for it? Let's see, that's a third magic box. <laughs> we'll make automatic ones now. <laughs> Samantha used to get into a lot of trouble. I always had to put her on timeout most of the time. But uh, she did try to trick me a few times, and one time she did, but only because I had to first catch on to her little scheme. Sometimes she'd ask if she, if she could use the bathroom. Seemed reasonable. I said, okay, she could get out the chair, or a timeout, and go use the bathroom. But, uh,. She didn't really have to go to the bathroom. Because kids that have to use the bathroom do not sit on the floor and scoot their butts all the way to the bathroom trying to have a conversation with you. So I said, no bathroom breaks during timeout. And uh, she kept trying to convince me that she had to use the bathroom, crying, wailing, saying she's going to pee her pants. But throughout the whole time, when she was on that chair, she never once wet herself. She did get better, though. She's doing a lot better. He's learning. I don't babysit them anymore, though. I 
wonder how those kids are doing. They were pretty good kids. They were crazy, but they were pretty good. They just weren't good with each other. Everything was a fight to the death. Every time they looked at each other, I heard the Mortal Kombat theme song. Let's see. Sorry guys, time for another of a fight. Yeah, I know. Geez, you guys need to die quicker. A lot quicker. Start dying. Is die, 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 die. Oh, good, I can make these automated now. One of them automated. Oh, can you guys hurry up with a dying? A lot of those kids needed to watch new movies because half of the time I was watching the Lorax. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Lorax is a good movie when you watch it the first three times. I don't know how many times I've seen that movie. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> 